Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to be making some resin coasters and we're going to be using resin foils. So let's jump in and get started. We're going to be pouring these in two layers and the first layer, I'm just filling my molds up about a third of the way with clear resin. And here I'm going in with a silicone paintbrush and going in and dislodging any bubbles that may be clinging to the perimeter of the silicone mold. And for these coasters, I'm going to be using the um, Total Boat High Performance Epoxy. I mixed up my resin off camera, but if you're new to resin and you want to see a tutorial showing step by step how I mix my resin, check out my snowflake ornament tutorial. I'll link it down below and I show you step by step how to mix your resin. I went in with my heat gun a little bit just to pop those bubbles and now we're going in with our resin foils. And I actually bought these off Etsy. I will link the shop down below in the description box. They come on an eight and a half by 11 size um, sheet of kind of like plastic paper. They're printed on craft plastic and then you just cut out the uh, size or you know cut around the image with scissors and you can cast them in your resin pieces. I'm just pushing it down making sure there's no air bubbles trapped underneath the foil hitting it with my heat gun once more and then I covered it up and let it dry for 24 hours and here we are the next day I am just going to really quickly pour um, three more. I should have done these all at once but I was just going to do one coaster um, and then I changed my mind and I decided, well, I'll just make a whole set. So, um, you don't have to, you know, do it on different days. If you were going to do this project, you could just pour all four coasters in one day. So same thing. I just filled my molds up a third of the way full, went around the perimeter of the mold with my silicone paintbrush to dislodge any bubbles. And now I'm going to submerge my resin foils into that layer of clear resin and you just want to make sure you push it down really well and these are nice you know because they're printed on clear craft plastic so you can see if there's any air bubbles trapped underneath so if there are you know just take your silicone paintbrush push it down and you can see those bubbles release off from underneath the image and they just kind of float off into your resin and you can go in with your heat gun and pop them. Super simple and easy to do. I love using resin foils. Um, there's tons of different designs available on Etsy. So like I said, I will link this seller shop down below. Definitely check her out. She's got some really awesome foils in her shop. And I was actually making these coasters for my son. He is really into anime right now. And um, I thought I thought of him when I saw these foils on uh, Etsy because they're the anime eyes from the different characters in the anime kind of cartoons, I guess, that he likes to watch. If you guys watch anime, let me know down in the comments and um, which one's your favorite. I've started watching some with him too, and they're kind of fun. It's a fun kind of bonding experience for us so I was making these coasters for him so here we are the next day this is layer number two I'm just going in with some glitter mixed with clear resin these are the opal glitters from let's resin I'm gonna be using magic opal lime opal violet opal and blue opal these glitters actually come in a pack of 12 I'll link them down below if you want to check them out and I was just gonna pour this last layer but um, I am going to go in after this layer is dry and do a layer of white resin as well. That's really going to make these glitters pop. If you guys um, can do that, I know it's kind of an extra step, but if you're using glitter um, and then you go in the next day and do an opaque color, it really makes that glitter layer pop. So I went in with my heat gun just to pop bubbles, going in with my silicone paintbrush around the perimeter of the mold. The bubbles really like to cling to the perimeter of the mold, so definitely do this step um, when you guys are making coasters. I let them dry overnight, and here we are the next day. I went in with some Color Passion Cell Base White, mixed that in with my clear resin, and for all the layers on these, I'm using the Total Boat High Performance Epoxy. And the cell base white, you can get it from Laura's Art Corner. It's a really awesome, super opaque white. It doesn't take much to get a really nice bright white 
Um, it's really good for projects like this. I'll link it down below as well. As always, I'll link all the materials I'm using down below in the description box along with any coupon codes that I have. And then I just went in with my heat gun on high, popping those bubbles, and that's pretty much it. Super simple and easy project. The only thing is it does take a few days to make these because of the different layers. And I'm going in with my silicone paintbrush one more time. I just love using these because they pop the bubbles easily and they don't damage your molds. Um, silicone molds are really fragile because if you go in with anything sharp or pointy like a toothpick, you can damage your mold and um, that's a bummer because molds are expensive and it's a really frustrating if they get damaged. I let them dry overnight and here we are ready to demold them. This one is the Magic Opal. Super pretty. This project was just a fun kind of DIY coaster set I did for my son because like I said he's really into anime right now but I really like how these coasters turned out. This is just a really fun way uh, to incorporate resin foils in your resin art. And here is the Lime Opal. This one is my son's favorite of them all. He really loves this one. And the Violet Opal. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I hope you give resin foils a try. I've made quite a few other pieces on my channel using resin foils. So if you haven't seen any of those videos, definitely go check them out. I will leave them down below in the description box. And I'll also leave them at the end card screen of this video. Just click the picture and it'll take you straight to the video and you can go check it out. It really helps out my channel if you check out a few of my videos back to back. And let me know down in the comments which one of these is your favorite, the white, the violet, the blue, or the lime green one. I like this one a lot. I think blue is one of my favorite colors. I also like the opal one a lot too. And I also really quickly wanted to show you guys, um, this is in full blown like direct sunlight. These foils have a holographic kind of look to them too. You can see on the eyes, they kind of have a fun holographic sparkle as well. So definitely check out um, these foils on Etsy. I'll link the seller shop down below. And she has a bunch of different colors you can choose from if you want to do different colored foils. You don't have to do this black holographic one. You could do any color you like. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, leave me a like. Hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And go check out a few more of my other videos. That would really help me out a lot. I hope you guys are all doing fantastic. And I will see you on Friday for another video. Bye guys.